Hi, Gary here from Mr. G Shave, back for another Saturday shave of the day. Um, yeah, I hope you, you, none of you are suffering from too bad a hangover from last night. Don't know, you might have gone down the pub. <clears throat> um, yeah, so today is a razor battle. Um, you've got to bear with me today. I'm, I'm, I've uh, got the first signs and symptoms of uh, my back problems again. Um, so I've got, it feels like a stitch underneath my right shoulder blade and it goes all the way up to the base of my neck. Um, and that's a pretty sure sign that my back might go into spasm. Um, but we'll see. So if I disappear off the face of the planet for a little while, that might be the reason. Uh, so just bear with me. Um, so yeah, right. I'm doing a razor battle today. So I'll go through the hardware. I haven't picked a bowl, I tell you what, I'll just pick that one. Um, this bowl I picked before and I didn't use it in the end, but I'm going to use it today. It's the Life Venture Ellipse Bowl. It's really easy to use, very lightweight plastic, great for travel. Um, so I'll put that oh, down there. Right, so what am I using? Um, the brush, I think this is called the Mojito. Uh, and I decided to use it because it's a citrus theme today. There's a bit of lime, there's a bit of lemon, a bit of everything. It's a 24 millimeter brush. Um, really nice brush, I like this. So I'm just gonna place that in there. The razor today is going to be, um, it, the battle is a, uh, between the Rockwell 6C and the Rockwell 6S. So those of you that watched either my Wednesday video or or last night's video on the head shave, um, you'll know that this was the battle that was lined up. Um, right, so here we go. I'm gonna go with, um, the blades are, oh, I've, take, I've put them away. <laughs> I've put the box away. The blades are Wilkinson Sword. Um, let's move my finger up there so you can see there's two blue dots. There's one on that corner and one on that corner. That says I've used them twice, um, both for razor battle. So effectively they've only done one side of the face. So this is kind of the one and a half shave stage. But I've got two of these. Let's just pick them up. Third use. So effectively these could go for six if I keep using these for razor battles. I could push these all the way up to six razor battles because they're only shaving half of the face. Um, so let's put the blade in the one. So that's the blade in the gunmetal. And then I'm going on to my preferred plate, which I haven't used in a really long time. I hope the washer doesn't fall off. Um, but it's plate five. So that's the plate I like to shave with, with the Rockwell 6C. It's my pre preferred setting. And the, well, e either of the Rockwells really. So that's number five. Let's put the blade in the Rockwell 6S. Now, if you remember, I bought this. A, it was on offer, I think, and B, I bought it for Christmas so I could do my Christmas shows with it. So this is only the second time I've used this one. So again, that's on plate five. And let's put the handle on. Oop, don't cross thread it. That's all lined up nicely. Let's just make sure they're both lined up. That looks good and that looks good so they're both complete razors so that's the hardware I'm going to do my usual thing I'm going to get ready for the shave and I'll be right back right I'm back I've just been talking the camera for a couple of minutes without realizing I wasn't recording so I'll start again um, the pre-shave I've used today is the Simpsons Lime citrus theme shave so i thought that's got to be it's the only citrus scented pre-shave i've got really other than the arch brito which doesn't really smell of anything um 
the shave soap I'm using today. I haven't used this since last summer. A&E St. Bart's. Love this. Coconut and lime. All the way. Brilliant. My favourite summer scent really. Been looking forward to using this. Um, so as I was saying to camera, I'll tell you what, I'll carry on. There's the lather. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, as I was sort of applying the uh, pre-shave, I let out a little whimper because I put, as I was pushing the oil into my skin, I obviously put pressure on the base of my neck and that hurt a bit. So yeah, the thing with my back is you have, it, 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 there's no rhyme or reason with it. Sometimes there is, sometimes I'll do something stupid um, you know, without thinking, oh, this scent, this is a good five out of 10 for me. And wow, I need more water on this. Um, yeah, there's a, sometimes I've done, I do something stupid and I aggravate my back. And then other times like this time, there's no rhyme or reason to it happening. It just happens. So I noticed the first symptoms on um, Wednesday, if I'm honest. I didn't talk about them because sometimes the symptoms can just go away, but this just has got a little bit worse over time and I'm a little bit stiff necked. And so, yeah, it's a bit unpleasant. I'm not on the big painkillers like the Tramadol or Pregabalin that I take because I really don't like taking those. If I, if I have to take those, I can't do the videos. I I'm on a different planet. Um, it, it, it really, it knocks me sideways when I, when I take those, even though my doctor keeps telling me I should take them all the time. Um, I've decided to live with the pain because I find that it tells me when not to do things. So if I was on the morphine, I probably would do all sorts of stuff and make my back far worse. That's the way I look at it. Um, so here we go. Gillette Wilkinson Sword, Indian, made in India, on their third use, but it's really only one and a half because I've only ever used these particular blades for razor battles. So they only get to do one side of the face. So here we go. With the grain. On plate five, that is so much nicer than the, the uh, battle of the blades where I have it on plate three. Well, it's it's fine, but I prefer I prefer this setting by a mile. That feels great. I'm going to try not to tilt my head too much. I may forget, in which case I apologize for any yelping I make. <laughs> <coughs> right, so here we go. This is the 6C. I mean, Straight away, I can tell you, there's no difference in the way it feels. I could be shaving with the same razor. The only difference is this one is substantially heavier than this one. I'd be surprised if this changes throughout the shave. Um, but it feels, oh, I've got a little spot underneath my neck as well. So if I catch that, um, apologies for the rouge. I haven't been doing very well with rouge lately, certainly on the straight shaves. <clears throat> so here we go. A second pass. <sighs> yeah. 
looking, um, we're supposed to be having a barbecue tomorrow, which we will do, but whether I'll be cooking it or not will depend solely on my back and whether I'm able to get down the pub. <laughs> So, oh, I do love this. This has got to be one of my favourite summer scents. Absolutely gorgeous. Mainly coconut. You get the lime after the coconut. But wow, what a scent. Absolutely love it. And Ariana and Evans, you can't go wrong with with the quality of their soaps. I don't know whether they're one of the manufacturers that have hiked their prices. I haven't got a clue. But, you know, I've got a couple of Ariana and Evans. I've got a couple of PNA, PAA. Uh, and I will use them. I'm not going to stop using them, but I'm not going to... I won't be buying from PAA for a while until the prices, you know, come down or everything normalizes, shall we say. <clears throat> right, so we're going across the grain. Very smooth, but pl still plenty of blade feel, which is what I like. <clears throat> this is difficult. <laughs> So across the grain this way is straight up. I can't stretch my neck at the moment. Yeah, so don't be surprised if I'm not on next week because if I go into spasm it, it usually takes at least a week for for me to come out of this normally I, if I'm at this stage I didn't realize I was as bad as this until I started shaving um, <clears throat> um, but yeah uh, it's just one of those uh, I'm afraid it's something I have to deal with um, and I know you all, you'll all be here when I get back if, if I, you know, the thing is with this, it could go tomorrow. It could, I could be completely back to normal. If it goes into full spasm, no, I won't be. Um, you know, that, that would be disastrous because a full spasm can leave me in bed for a few days. Um, so... But I'm still enjoying the shave. It's just a bit awkward. Because I've got to be very careful how I move my head. Oh. Right. Okay, so we're ready for the against the grain. I'm so distracted with this pain in my neck at the moment. I've had it like this before where I've woken up the following day and it's been fine. So there's no guarantees I'll be, you know, I. There's no, it's not guaranteed yet that I won't be posting videos. I may well still post a video on Monday, but I'll leave a message up there on my Facebook page. If you want to connect to my Facebook page, there's always a link at the bottom of the description. Um, that's where I tend to post if something's happening or whatever, if, if I can't do the shave, the reasons why. Do you know, I can't, 
there, there is no difference between these two. For me. Apart from the weight, and I don't think, you know, if this was aluminium and that was stainless steel, then I would say there, were, there would be a difference in the shave. But this is already a hefty razor. It's not stainless steel, I don't know what it's made of, but, you know, this has got some weight to it. This is a fair few grams heavier. I'll probably put it up there if I remember. Um, I might, might make the... Uh, edit for this video quite simple if I'm honest so I'm not spent too long sitting down in front of the computer um, but yeah I, I would say is it worth buying a stainless steel only because it's stainless steel I would say I, I don't think you're going to get any difference in the shave it's not a better shave I think it's the same shave but one's heavier than the other and it doesn't make a lot of difference because they're both heavy razors to start out with. So, right, let's go for the pickup pass. Of course, this is my own personal opinion. You may have a completely different opinion to mine, but it's just the way I feel it and experience it at the moment. So, Let's do the pickup. Yeah, so not my usual jovial self. I, you know, it is definitely affecting my mood. <laughs> oh God, which side have I gone? I can't remember which side. They're, they're both the same. Really nice on plate five, far more enjoyable. Out of the two razors, which do I prefer? I don't know really. I like the weight of the stainless steel. I do like the weight of the stainless steel, but does it make a difference to the shave? No, it certainly doesn't. They're both heavy razors. They're both going to do the same thing, but that's BBS. It's, it's, yeah, that's BBS. It's just down here and I'm not going to keep on at it because of my back. So, so that's, uh, that's it. I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back all cleaned up. Post shave feel is excellent. As always with Ariana and Evans, <clears throat> really good soap this. Um, right, okay, so um, uh, I'm not going to bother with the alum. <laughs> you, can, you can probably understand why. I'm using Thayer's, Thayer's Witch Hazel, Lemon Witch Hazel. <clears throat> <clears throat> really nice scent. I'm following that up with Duru Colonia. And I'm going to give, well, you know the result of this. It, there was no, I mean, it was, to me, they felt the same apart from the weight. And when you were using them, unless you're using them together, you won't notice the weight difference. Um, so for me, it's only if you want a stainless steel one that you would buy one of those. I, I ordered it because it was on offer and it was red and it was Christmas. <laughs> That's why I got it. It's as simple as that. Um, otherwise, I'd have stuck with my six C's. 
Um, I decided to buy two 6Cs because I, I had planned to do uh, Battle of the Blades with them. So, and I didn't have any matching razors. And I thought getting something with interchangeable plates would be a good idea. Because if somebody says, can you try this blade comparison on plate five or plate six or whatever plate, then I can do it. So um, anyway, so today the post shave is Supreme Smoother. Uh, it's a British British made product, so I don't know whether it's available in the States, but it is coconut and lime and this stuff's great. <clears throat> Again, it's a it's a, a balm. It's a balm that uh, I only use in the summer. Just a couple of little squirts, uh, you know, one squirt isn't enough really, that's two squirts. Oh. Fantastic. But that's that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the shave. Um, the winner is neither. They're both the same razor, but one's heavier. That's it. Um, if I were, it, it, as I say, the only reason you'd want to buy a stainless steel is because you prefer a heavier razor than this already heavy razor. So. Oh, I'd go for the 6C. <laughs> um, th there is a difference as well in the in the coatings. This has got almost like a matte and a rougher coating than than the gloss coating of the 6C. Um, does it make a lot of difference? No, I don't think it does. I know some people don't like the matte the coating on these because they it, it's not as smooth. <sighs> I couldn't tell the difference. If you've got a good soap, good good pre-shave, good soap, or even just a good slick soap, you won't even know. <laughs> you know, I don't think you'll know. So anyway, that's it from me. I will see you now, hopefully next week at some point. If I'm not out there on Monday, then obviously things have gone downhill a bit. Um, I may be back Wednesday if I'm not. It's you know I ju I just don't know how long is a piece of string. So um, let's see. I hope I'm back on Monday because I've got a few. Uh, I've th well I've got another one or two um, um, battle of the blades to do. So but they may have to wait. So there we are. Anyway, see you soon. Bye now.